Hello guys, um, I'm here to show you how to do fire nails, which I guess are from the movie, um, Hunger Games. I did this last night, I saw a video of it, and the girl who did it looked really, really cool, so I figured I would try to attempt it. Um, I use black and green. Black, green, and white, because those are the only nail polishes I own, <laughs> because that's my school colors. As you can see, I messed this one up on accident. It looks like model, marble nail or whatever, but crappy. I tried that too, in the snail, and I sucked. I just don't know how to do it, <laughs> but today I'm going to show you how to do the fire nails. So, the colors I used is the Sally Hansen's Extreme Wear, number 370 Blackout. Um, Sally Hansen's Extreme Wear, green, 34 Going Green. And this one is really old. I got it from my mom. It's Wet and Wild Nail Color number 449B. Okay, so first, and never mind this nail, um, but first I did a top color of black, and I'm gonna let it dry, which it already is, but now you're gonna have to kinda have a lot of it. But this black color, you're going to put another layer on. And before it dries, you're going to take the green. And you're going to put a drop there. A drop there. And now you're going to use a toothpick. I, th I don't know what the girl in the video used. I think she used like a needle or something, but this is all I have. And I would say to get a needle if she did use that because it makes really weird lines. But you're just going to go in an S formation. It's kind of hard to see, sorry. I'm really shaky because I'm right handed and right now I'm doing my right handed. But that's how it turned out. Here, let me see. Where is it? There. I don't know if that helped. Not really, but now, after all my rambling, before that dries, you're going to take the wet and wild white, and you're going to do the same like with the green, but with less of it. Oops. My bad. Um, it's not going to look very good at first, and sorry if I sound gross, like I just, like, sucked up on my snot. My allergies are really, really bad. But, there you go. And... I don't know, the color looks really cool if like you use like hot pink instead of green. It looks really cool. But I guess I have one other color and it's like green but it's sparkly. Hard candy. I'm gonna try that and see what it looks like sprinkled on top of it. It came with this really cute ring. 
I don't wear it though. I don't really wear rings. It's alright. But I'm gonna see what it looks like with this on it. That looks, well, I don't know if you can tell, but it kind of looks cool. But I definitely won't be doing it on my other nails, because <laughs> you can't really see if it looks good or not. Alright, now the next nail. My middle finger. It's okay if you get it really messy. Because you can clean it up with a q-tip after. Which is really easy to do. Just kind of like do simple but squiggly lines. I'm not very good at this, but I mean, I'm not really good at art, I guess. So if you're like really artistic, it'll look really cool on you. Alright, I'll do my white next. Again, sorry for my sniffling. I use too much white. Oh, well. It's always better if you like use less nail polish than what you really need. Because if you use too much, you'll have to start over. But I'm too lazy to start over, so. Looks like crap, but yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna do this now because I try to do the marble where you put like the water in there or whatever. Sorry, if my camera is kind of stupid, so it gets a little blurry. There you go. All right, I'm gonna do my pinky now. So you use too much again. Like I said, try not to use too much. Because then you'll have to start all over and it'll look like crap. I use way too much over here. Oh well. White. Now again with the white. Enough there now, but oh well, you can always add. Um, 
Alright, whatever. Mine looks really bad, but, I mean, I'm not very artistic, so yours will probably look better. But I hope this helped. I had fun doing it. Um, it's my first video on YouTube. And, yeah.